back to my youtube channel but wait 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 make sure you like and subscribe to your brother to your cousin to your sister and tell sister and brother siblings to come back and watch me and make sure you tell your mama and daddy sisters and siblings even if they don't have siblings brothers anybody cousins nephews aunties uncles everybody in a family to come back and watch my YouTube video because I know y'all like me. I know y'all love me. And yeah. And because if y'all want me to keep dropping content after content, y'all better tell them. Because yeah, I love the post. I love the film. And yeah, y'all already know what's going on. But let's get into the video. So we're going to be talking about freshman advice that I have for y'all from me and my friends because I really didn't have freshman device like like that but i got some that i said oh shit that's that's lit that's that's, that's real real really so yeah so first advice that i'll give freshmen that's coming into high school let me make just a disclaimer this is high school this is not college because i'm not in college yet so why would i be telling this one what if you heard that if you understood that you understood that but if you didn't you didn't all right i would say be on time to school in your classes what i mean by that is go to every and go to every class go to every class be on school on time because the tardies and them apps is going to hurt you in the long run it will i'm not saying you can never fix it because you will can, you will be able to fix it make sure it's not a habit yes it should not be a habit I'm skipping school, skipping classes, because that stuff will add up by your senior year. So, do not skip. I'm trying to skip. Make sure you skip the second half of the semester towards the end of the school year. So, you really don't have to be worrying about your first semester. You should, your first semester should be really wonderful. Your grades should be up. Everything. So, let's go to the next one. Back to what I was saying. The next one is no skipping. Do not skip. Because mm -mm. it's going to hurt you. I'm telling you, it's going to hurt you in the long run. People do not graduate because they've been skipping or don't have enough credits. Because your credits will fuck up your graduation. You might have good grades in the uh, grade book, in your classes, wherever you went. But if you don't have enough credits, babe, you will not be able to graduate. I'm just telling you, because you'd be classified as a, because it's different credits that you have to do every year to go to the next grade, because you have to have the, enough credits to graduate each grade level, because it's ninth through 12th grade. So if you don't have enough credits to be a freshman, you'll be considered a freshman again. If you don't have enough credits to be a sophomore, you'll be a sophomore again. If you had enough credits for a junior you will be a junior again if you don't have enough credits to be a senior you'll be classified as a senior again and you have to be with class of 25 class of 24 class of 26 that's wild just about thinking about it, that's wild but yeah no skipping if you're gonna skip skip the second half of the semester do not skip Every day of that six months. I'm not seeing that. But make sure it's not a habit. Not a habit. I would say skip once a month your second semester. Once a month. Don't make it a habit though, y'all. But I'm not do not skip at all, y'all. Cause I'm giving y'all bad advice. Do not skip. Do not skip at all. But hey, skip if you want to, babes. Skip if you want to. Yep, but I'm a senior, y'all, so I made it to the finish line. But graduation will be my finish line, so let's not get ahead of ourselves. So, I, but I made it to my senior year. Let's say that. Um, pay attention in class. So when you have assignment to do, do that. Pay attention so you can understand. 
understand the assignment. Freshman year is, I feel like, the most easiest year ever. Because when you elevate, it's going to be a lot. But your freshman year is always your fresh, easy year at, in high school. So make sure you pay attention, get your grades good, and yeah, you should be good. Uh, be yourself. Be unapologetically yourself. Don't let anybody knock you down for being yourself. Be yourself first. Yes. Can you be you? Okay. I'm talking to the ladies and gentlemen. If y'all are gay or straight or anything, these niggas and these girls, let me not say, let's, let's, let's be lit right now. These girls and these niggas don't give a fuck about you. They probably will. You, you gotta come across the right people, but they really don't give a fuck about you. You are a freshman. Y'all are both young. They don't care about you. They do not give a fuck about you. Not right now. I would say not right now. But just wait. Don't be so fast in a relationship. Please don't. Don't trust fast. I'm having that trouble now. I'm trusting people fast. I don't like it at all. Because it's... <sighs> anxiety. Like... I can't even talk... I don't know. It's just stressful. Like... My anxiety fucks with me. My gut just... Be really gutting. <laughs> really gutting. Really gutting. Really gutting. But yeah, uh, do not rush into a relationship. You're only a freshman, babes. But let's not let's not get offensive. Cause these freshmen being in these four years of relationship, I'll be like, oh shit, where mine's at? But yeah, I'm talking about the people that are just dating just to be dating, that just don't want to be single anymore. Cause I'm still single and I don't want to be single anymore. So, but I'm grown. I'm not grown. I'm, just, I'm not going to say I'm grown. I'm a young adult. Let's say that. But yeah, do not rush into a relationship because you're going to be hurt. You're going to be hurt. So don't rush right now. You're a freshman in high school. I would say in college. You are a freshman in high school. Don't be pressured into doing something that you do not want to do. Please do not do that. Don't do that. You're going to hurt you. If somebody going to tell you to jump on a bridge, don't drop that the bridge. That's if it's water and y'all going to be good. But do not jump off a bridge. Don't do that. Don't smoke no weed. No, and then when you don't want to smoke no weed. If you don't want to drink, you don't have to drink. If you don't want to cheat, you don't have to cheat. If you don't want to go nowhere, you don't have to go nowhere because you, you don't want to. So don't let you know, I pressure you to do something that you want to do. But yeah, it, it's really nothing. I'm just saying, don't let me pressure you to do anything that you don't want to do. Um, don't get yourself into drama. Do not get yourself into drama because this is going to hurt you. Yeah, in the long run, it's going to hurt you, so don't get into no drama. If it's not, do not get into drama. That's all I got to say. I'm just keep it like that. Don't not get into no drama because it's it be unnecessary stuff. Don't be fighting over a nigga. Please do not fight over a nigga or a female. Boys, do not fight over no females. Niggas and girls, do not fight over another nigga. That's crazy. That's wild. <laughs> That's wild. Because why are you fighting over a nigga? And why are you fighting over a girl? That's wild to me. Like, bitch. Like I said, do not fight over no female and don't fight over a nigga. That's crazy. That's wild to me. Be cool with your teachers, y'all. This is a big one. Be cool with your teachers. Because they will bump your grade up. They will pass you. Not all the time. So make sure you do your work. Because they might be on some... Something might be going on, so make sure you be passing already. Because, yeah, make sure you pass. Make sure you are cultural teachers, though, because they will be favored in your life right now. If you're really in trouble, they can help you. So make sure you be cool with your teachers. And you'll be good, y'all. 
open minded, y'all. Try everything. Like, go to a dance, go to the prom. Not right now. Prom is not for y'all right now. I'm talking to freshmen, y'all. I'm only talking to freshmen. Prom is not right now, but make sure you try everything. If you want to do band, do band. If you want to do cheer, do cheer. Because I'm a cheerleader, so y'all. So if you want to do that, because you might regret it, y'all. Not doing no sport in high school. You might regret it, because I'm glad I'm doing it now, because I might regret it. it, 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 it. <laughs> but yeah, make sure y'all are open-minded so you can learn. Not ignorant, because ignorant people don't go nowhere. Try to learn something new every day. Don't just be stuck in one box or whatever you call that shit. Do not just don't stick in one mind. Go outside your mind and expand. But yeah, just be open minded. Friends. Not call everybody a friend. Uh, I gotta say about that. Not call everybody a friend. If I say, like, I have certain friends. I have my cheer sisters. They, they're my friends, but I call them my sisters because they're my sisters. Like, if I didn't know them, they would have been called my friends. But I fuck with them, like, like these. So they call my cheer sisters. But, yeah, just remember, these, these might be friends for high school, not when you be grown and do what you need to do with your life. Because, yeah... Uh, people I'm friends with, like my bestie, she's for life. She's going to be for life, and I'm gonna make that happen for life. Um, uh, my two sisters, they're gonna be there for life. Like I said, what are you talking about? Hold on, y'all. Man, one of my deals takes me, but we ain't gonna get into it. What? Type shit I'm on, boy. Boy, you ain't ready for this. I'm playing y'all. Let's get to the video. Uh, I was saying, friends, don't let anybody be a friend. Don't let everybody be a friend because I learned that the, not the I didn't learn that the hard way, not at all. I just I'm a friendly person. I know people might bash me, say I'm very friendly because bitch, I am. You know, why be rude if you can be nice? So, yeah. I'll be damned if I be rude to people. Because I will never change for somebody else for calling me friendly. Because if you call me friendly, okay, yeah. And it's not my fault that you're so fucking rude. Ugh. It better rude people call people friendly. Uh, bitch, you're rude. Uh, I just got mad. <laughs> like, you are really rude. Uh, that is... So that is sickening. You're so fucking rude. You're rude. You're fucking rude. Oh my god, that's wild. You're fucking rude. Like, you're rude. You calling somebody friendly and you're so, you so fucking rude? Because, bitch, you trying to be friendly. You trying to be nice, but you can't because you're so rude. You got that. You got something in you that just cannot get out because you're so rude oh my god okay let me go to the next one because um schoolwork make sure you be on top of your schoolwork always be on top of your schoolwork first these niggas gonna come and go these girls on really come and go these niggas on really come and go too but i put more emphasis on females and niggas at the same time but i did not mean to go on y'all females like that but it's time to stop being so nonchalant and act like it's only niggas, bitches, females, and niggas at the same time. Girl, females just easier with it, so it does not say too much with it. Niggas always getting called. Girls don't really get called, so let's not. Let's 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 do it like this. Yes, it's females and niggas. It's not saying it's only niggas. But yeah, enough about that. I hope y'all don't. <laughs> I hope y'all don't ask me on this video because I'm just sorry. I'm just sorry because I just, I don't want to feel like it's only one category. It's men and females, but we're not going to get too f into that. But make sure you be on top of your grades because that will come in the long run. You get some full groups. 
you'll get full scholarships to any college you want to go to. Just make sure your grades are good and wonderful so you can be good if you're trying to go to college. Or if, you, if you're not trying to go to college. Just do good. Do your schoolwork, please. And good, good grades. Get good grades. Uh, yeah, back again, they're saying find teachers and find bonds. They help with help them, help you. Yeah, back to what I was saying about having a relationship with your teachers. Make sure y'all have a good, strong bond. I'm not saying go to the house every weekend, but just have that communication that y'all are locked in. Yeah. Okay. Make okay. I think this will be my last one. Is it my last one? It is my last one. Make sure you have your plan, y'all. I'm stuck right now. I do not know what I'm gonna do in my life. I really don't. I'm swinging into nursing. Entertainment. It's probably going to be entertainment. Very much entertainment. Because I like entertaining people. Oh, you see this. So, yeah. I love entertainment. I love it so much. Uh, I get nervous sometimes, but it's okay. Yeah, get your comfort zone from somewhere. You start from somewhere. But, yeah. Make sure you have a plan on what you want to do. And take those classes now. So, you be good. In my video. So, when I say... You can be certified as a freshman. I did not mean it like that. I meant to say when you finish the, with all your clinical classes, and if you're going in from bottom, you can be certified as a phlebotomist when you're in junior year or a senior. One of one of those. You you can't be certified as a freshman because you haven't took those classes yet. So it would make no sense if you'd be certified as a freshman. Just trying to clear that up for anybody that's about to watch the video. So make sure y'all know that you won't be certified when you're a freshman, or I'm not even a sophomore. You'll be certified when you're a junior or a senior. Y'all have a certificate. So you can be working early. So make sure I take those classes. Y'all keep enjoying the video because it's the end. Towards the end. Be certified for the If you take classes now, your freshman year, to be a phlebotomist, you can get your license now. If you're trying to do cosmetology, you can get your license when you're a junior. Because my friend's got her license now. Now she's a licensed cosmetologist. Shout out to you. But yeah, so start now. And you'll be good for high school. And you can already... You really don't have to go to college for that. But if you want to do the up level and shit, you do have to go to college. But if you're trying to just stay at your level and get your certification already... You'll be good to go to any job you want. I'm just speaking. I'm just speaking. But yeah, that will wrap up my video. I hope y'all really enjoy it. I'm sorry that I went bashing on y'all, but I don't like the nonchalant. I don't like the. I don't know what you call it. Like I don't like the only one category type shit. Like they both do it. Females ain't niggas do it. But yeah, and if you think I'm talking about you, I'm talking about you. <laughs> if you think I'm talking about you, I'm talking about you. So let's not get too feisty or raw. But yeah, I love y'all. I'll see y'all on the next. But make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to your brother, to your cousin, to your friends, and to your sister and brother and your siblings. You're more your siblings because I know y'all got some. Step daddies, siblings, step mama, siblings, and to y'all uncles and aunties to come watch me. And turn that bell on so you'll be notified every time I post a brand new video. And I'll see y'all on the next. I love y'all.